<laughs> How are you? I'm okay, thanks. Charlie yeah, good, yeah. Charlie good. Just, um, I've just done oh, a yeah. school run. I had some elongated sort of awards assembly at school. And I zoomed home and then I put a huge, lovely, great big um, date in coconut smoothie on the top of my car oh. and it fell on me. <laughs> so I had to then just jump under a tap quickly. Oh, no. But my, my trousers have still got traces of it. You're um, not smelling like Hawaiian Tropic, here. are you? Hawaiian Tropic, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. A bit coconutty and... Uh, I'm just thinking you won't remember this probably, but the last yeah. time I saw you was the day before you were going on holiday and I saw you in Camden and you had your little boots bag full of all of those miniature things you take on holiday. Did, oh, did I? Uh, um, <laughs> miniature things... You know those um, holiday Pills. things? <laughs> <laughs> those miniature things? Advil. Oh, no, is it Advil? No, I'm American already. Um, you know, stuff. Yes, I remember little bottles yeah, for um, shampoo various and stuff. Things like that. Um, yeah. And now you've moved to LA. Well, I've... Do I call it moved? I, I, I am living here. Yeah. I've lived here for just... A, well, it's around a year, just over a year right mm. now. Yeah. And how have you settled into it? I've settled in fine. I'm slightly behind schedules because, as usual, I was, you know, on one of their great big roads with loads of traffic and I had to go round a crash because every time I go on a great big road here, there's, there's a crash. So you have to go round that. Mm -hmm. But you get where you're going eventually. Do you walk much there, or can you? <laughs> I, I can walk. Where I'm living, I live right at the bottom of a load of hills, and um, um, I, if I wanted to, I could walk up the hill and disappear, I'm sure, forever, or get eaten by coyotes and, and all sorts <laughs> of stuff. But um, you can walk. We, 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 I'm, I'm sort of living in an area where it's kind of walkable. Mm. It's, it's a pretty old area, though. Nice area. You like it. I, I like it, yeah, because it's a, it's a pretty away from the hustle and bustle and there's not an awful lot of traffic up there, so it's good. Well, we're going to be talking about the end of the effing world too, um, the soundtrack, because right. you've done both soundtracks, haven't you? Yeah, I did both of those. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I mean, what a brilliant series. Did you watch it? I was watching things as they came through mm. on the first one the first series mm. that i had a few episodes that were roughly cut together that i could watch yeah and um on the second one i i actually had a the scripts first and i started working just from the scripts before i saw anything but that must be weird reading a script and then sort of trying to tune into it in terms of music yeah well i kind of knew the situation because of the first yeah. series so I, I suppose that was a help but yeah I, I have plays and things at home, books, and, 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 and yeah, I find them difficult to read, scripts mm. and, and plays. But actually, I, I, I kind of... You just have to approach it in a different way. You mm. have to sort of do the voices, especially if you read plays out loud and scripts out loud, I think. I think you have to. If I read yeah. a script, I mean, not that exactly. I'm not for auditions or anything, just have for fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I always have to read them out loud. Yeah. Same with poetry, actually, I do that as well. Do you, do you pace up and down and move your arm about as yes. well? I like, yeah, yes. I like doing that. <laughs> of course. I get in character. Yeah. <laughs> we have to. Um, I just played um, before one of... Uh, it, it, it makes me giggle every time I, I hear it. And it does get into your head. Mashed potato. Oh, gosh, yeah. People like that one. Oh, I love it. And it's got a real bluegrass feel. Well, oh, it's, it, it, it's funny that the, the songs that I that I get together very, very quick have been very popular, like the mm. Walking All Day yeah. from the first series, mm. which was a re written very quickly. And Mashed Potato was written around the sort of thing of the sort of country blues mm. singer, kind of Mississippi John Hurt. Um, he has this nice little song about chicken. Mm. And um, I was just thinking about the, some of the old blues. They, they had code words in them that, that you know, are kind of for rude. Give us an know, example. Well, you know, my, my, my pencil don't work no oh, more. Oh, yes, yes, things we like get that, what that you means. Know, things, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, like we all know what rock and roll means, really, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> and so mashed potato, I, I was just kind of coming up with a, with a thing that could mean something a little bit, mm. a, bit a bit rude. Well, there's nothing the wrong with that, blues, is there? Blues tradition, <laughs> yeah. Because um, with the, the first one, did you do most of it a conk? I didn't do any at conk. I thought you did. No, I, d I, um, I, I did that in my, I did that in my, um, what I call Gracie Studios, which is wherever I am recording. Yeah. Um, that's um, just 
in my bedroom, <laughs> sort of in my spare room. <laughs> That's the yeah, great so thing, I did all isn't it? The I did do some recording at, at, at Conk mm. um, at the end of last year, or no, the end of the year before and the beginning of last year, mm. before I came out here, but that was something different. That, that wasn't the soundtracks. So what made you go to L.A.? Was it because of the soundtrack? Um... So many reasons, I suppose. I was in a... There was a good window of opportunity for that. My eldest um, was going to university and my youngest was in a situation where she was going to have to... There was going to be have to be changes made school-wise. Um, we thought... We'd, we'd always liked coming here on holiday and when I taught here, I'd like to stay a bit after everyone else had gone home, mm. you know, and just... So uh, we thought we'd give it a go and we had some friends here. Obviously, I'm I'm in a little group called the jaded hearts club band and um mm. a lot of them are out here so uh it just seemed like a nice thing to try but i'm very wary that a lot of people i meet say yeah we came here for six months to try it out and that was 20 years ago <laughs> and i'm like oh my gosh am i going to be one of those people mm. well, um, but we're here for a bit yeah i remember tim bird just saying that he went he stayed for a while he really really enjoyed it and then I always remember Gary Newman and Chesney Hawkes both moved at the same time. Oh, what, in the helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> Heli Dover. I think it was because they had the same lawyer that they both realised they were moving um, at the same oh. time. But a lot, a lot of Brits yeah. do go out, don't they? And, and end up staying, as you say. Yeah, they, they, they do. Um, and I'm asked a lot what I miss about England. And um, I, I, do, I do miss... You know the musty, damp-smelling ancient woodland, <laughs> and I miss the mossy walls and, mm. and the roses in the front garden and all that sort of thing. Um, but you know, it's it's pretty cool here. People, pe people are good. People are nice. The roads make you crazy, um, but it <laughs> just it just sort of feels positive. And I meet a lot of nice people, mm. music-wise and unmusic-wise. And is everybody ultra ultra healthy? No, not the people I see. Everyone, I, 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 I mean, you know, they're just normal. You do see healthy. It depends where you go. I used to live we, uh, in Santa Monica. Mm. You saw a lot more healthier kind of people in, they, you know, they always looked like they were coming from or to a yoga thing. Mm. Um, which is a bit, a bit uh, <laughs> annoying. But where I am now, it's very down to earth. It's a bit mm. of an older area. So it's like a bit more normal. It's so like a kind of a more of a small town sort of vibration. Well, we'll take a break for some music. And, you know, when I hear this, I always imagine that if Dusty was alive, Dusty Springfield, she'd go, I want to do this. Oh, wow. A better beginning. Lovely. A better beginning from the soundtrack at the end of the effing world to uh, Graham Coxon is my guest. Um, I think about you every day. Sorry? I think about you every day. Me? Yes. That's oh, because right. I bought Nude. <laughs> I've got number 30 of 300. Um, and it's on the, the, the landing, first landing in our house on the way to the, oh. the loo. So I was oh, looking right. at Graham Coxon. <laughs> on oh, me painting? Yes. Oh, that's really interesting because I've got a nice big double garage now. I was going to start setting up, you know, the other type of studio yeah. and do some painting. Again, oh, you've got to. You're a great painter. Yeah. Thank you. And it'd be great to, to go to an exhibition and see them all in yeah. situ. It'd be fabulous. Well, there's, there's a bunch of them knocking about now. I, I did do a whole n new load mm. two or three years ago, but I, I want to keep keep going with that. Thanks for buying one of those. Oh, Thanks. no, it was my Christmas treat to myself. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and the other thing I want to mention to you, Andy Gill. Yeah. I was sad. What a genius. I know. It's, um, it is, yeah, it's very sad. I mean, yeah, that was kind of sudden. It was, yeah. wasn't it? Did you know him? No, no. I'd, I'd never met. I'd been and seen them yeah, many yeah. times. Mm. I mean, not you know early on, mm. um, but a few years ago, sort of two thousand and when would that have been? Five, six, perhaps. Mm. Yeah, we doing some bits and bobs. Yeah, gosh, that's ages ago now. It, oh my gosh. I know, anyway, it's yeah. funny, isn't it? You say 2006, 26, and you think, wasn't it a few years ago? It's fourteen years ago. It's a lifetime. Yeah, mm. it, it's yeah, yeah. But 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 I I yeah. Obviously, obviously, um, ama amazingly amazing guitar player. As, as are you? I mean, everybody raves well, about your guitar playing, don't they? 
Yeah, I'm so shocked <laughs> that I haven't been found out about uh, <laughs> my fraudulence. Um, yeah. um, but that's great. I mean, I do what I do for whatever song I am swimming about in. I mean, I do my best to do, you know, what's best for the song. I, I, I mean, I can't sit like... I, I watch YouTube and I watch fabulous people showing off gear and... And, you know, they play and they shred and stuff like that. And they go... And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I, I can't do that sort of thing. But I can put a little guitar part together for a tune, all right? You can adapt, though, can't you? You really can sort of change it from one thing to another. I try to do that. I mean, I think that over the years, my love of all kinds of music has informed my my brain. You know, I always refer to it as a rucksack full of reference points or, or music or knowledge for to use a strong word um and which which i can reach into or well, my brain just does it actually a little hand comes out of there and reaches yeah. into my rucksack and pulls out something that would be appropriate I, I i kind of i'm lucky in that way that i that i love just about any form of music i mean i, I love the it's all the same thing it's all good music and um, it's all there to be, you know, it imbues you, you know, first mm. of all, it's the Beatles. And I, I realise I've been having a, another massive uh, blondie um, thing. And I, and, and I just, I'm just i just thinking, crikey, I've been really heavily influenced by the blondie guitar players mm. and Clem Burke, the drummer, as well. You know, I'm, I, I, I hadn't even really realised that until I was re-listening to Parallel Lines and Plastic yeah. Layers and things. Yeah, so it's great, all there. Great gig in LA with uh, Blondie, Psychedelic Fur. The list is fantastic, uh, the artists playing. And yeah. it's just a bit too far away for me. For me. But I was looking Where at it going, wow, somewhere in LA. It's called, oh, I can't know what it's called now. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, but the fact um, that you, because uh, I'm i like you, that, that music is great and, and there's only two kinds, but it's all subjective, good or bad, whether you like it or not. And yeah. it doesn't matter what style it is. And if I listen to Dining Room Standoff, um, Ennio Morricone springs to mind. Yeah, well, I love Ennio Morricone, mm. I, especially the stuff that everyone knows, the... Um, Good, bad, and the ugly fistful oh, of dollars, that. and all of that, mm. all that sort of stuff. I absolutely adore it. Um, and maybe it's because I was in LA. I don't, I don't know. It started going slightly, a slight sort of Spanish feel <laughs> <laughs> to some of the stuff I was doing. I, and I, I love spaghetti westerns. I, I love the atmosphere in those. I love the old recordings. So, I mean, I don't always attempt to try and make things sound you know um, um sonically always from from the 60s although i i, I probably with, with the song you just played it's um it was a sort of homage to things like you know people like uh scott walker so big and dramatic yeah. and a kind of a 60s thing so it's very much with me like era hopping and mm. I, I do love the 60s 60s stuff but i can't always be making stuff that sounds like the 60s because i have to go to the early 90s and then i have to be like post-punk mm. i.e and then like 1968 for this and um mid 80s for something else um and i and i really love that because it gives i, I can just experiment with drum sounds and things i have to do it very very quick mm. and also i have to try and get myself in a state of mind to do you know vocals in different kinds of ways as well which is fun well it's remarkable the, the amount of voices you got <laughs> mike galwood no is it was <laughs> you are yes you're the the john culture of music <laughs> well it's it's kind of a it's an acting thing you know i'm i've i've always been an actor mm. and and the easiest thing i could do to act was wear different clothes and play musical instruments and that's my way of of acting and i i was always kind of bored at my inability with my vocal inability in a way or my shyness or my reticence to actually sing out so when i say right you're you've got to be scott walker or you've got to be a bit like beck in 1991 or, yeah. or you know i i have to sort of commit and i suppose now i'm older i don't give much of a, <laughs> no anymore you know about what what people think yeah. i i have to just and, and it and it's fun and, and i and it, and it's not even even in front of Stephen Street, you know, who who I've recorded more things than anybody else. I, I would still be kind of slightly shy about singing, but when mm. I'm on my own, 
no one's there to laugh or go, oof, crikey, you sure, <laughs> Graham. You know, I just do it. So um, it, it's, it's good fun. It's great. It gives you that freedom. Yeah. All right, let's listen to the track I just mentioned, Danny Wynn Standoff, and uh, this is Graham Coxon from the soundtrack the end of The Effing World 2. Moon standoff, um, Graham Cox. Then, um, when you did one, did you know there was going to be two? I w- I was hoping there would be. Yeah, you know, and um, but then you hope it's going to be really good, mm. and you know, people are saying, please don't make another one. That was perfect as it was, and I kind of got that um, totally. Um, but I liked the way um, series two went or season two. Well, when it opened, I thought, hang on, what's going on here? Yeah, I, I, it was really good. The, the added characters, and uh, mm. I mean, it, it was it was definitely a bit more of a spooky thing. And and I wrote a couple of songs before I'd seen anything. You know, mm. she, um, she knows I think was written before I'd seen any action. Yeah. Purely on on scripts, I was kind of trying. I was building up in my brain that that this new character would be Bonnie, would be mm. a little more s- supernatural. So um, that she just knew stuff, you know. But we're all uh, <laughs> thrilled to bits that James is still there and Elisa, of course. Um, but it's it's. Do you know what? We're getting really good at that kind of drama. Do you not think? Because um, we've got this series, and of course, um, Killing Eve, which, which David Holmes uh, really captured the mood of mm. as well. Like you perfectly captured um, the end of the Affin world, and we're getting really good at it. Those dramas, aren't we? Yeah, I think. Yeah, we are. I don't really know why. I think this box set thing, or these, or these, or these quick and hard and fast kind of series mm. thing. I mean, I, I remember Six Foot Under and stuff like that yeah. um, years ago, and that seemed to really inspire a lot of people that that actually these serials can be better than movies. They can over time be longer than movies. They can be more detailed and than 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 can movies can get in in two hours. You know, so so it's an it's an excellent um, medium for, for for that for music and for acting and just for 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 detail and and plot. I think yeah yeah it's it's, it's great. Well, I think I'm right in saying that an awful lot of music is sold through these kind of dramas. The only thing I'm scared of, they don't turn into you know when they get these ideas and then you get just a load of things that are the same like cookery programs or whatever you think oh not another one um mm. you know keep these keep keep this you know so brilliant but we don't need another whole load like it there is ton there is there is there is a lot yeah. I, I do i do get a bit overwhelmed when i look on the old tv yeah and i just don't know what to look at mm. oh but but you know that could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> you must. Oh, yeah. do, do you enjoy seeing those characters evolve? Do you get kind of attached to them? Yeah, I mean, especially in the first series. When when I was looking at the first episode of the first series of End of Fint World, yeah, I was a bit like, oh, he's weird, <laughs> and she's some, what a brat. Yeah, you know, I was like, I didn't particularly like him much. No. You know, he was very odd and awkward, and she was just kind of. You know, controlling, undesir- wasn't she? Yeah, just an undesirable Ooh. sort of kind of, you know, offensive, mildly offensive young person. Um, but then I, I really liked how by two and three you fall in love with both of them. Yeah. And and, and, and you see their humour and you see everything, like, especially with Alyssa and she's dancing and, mm. and things like that. Yes. And, and then you just see some magic in them, people as characters and as actors too mm. and um yeah I, I i loved i loved that i loved seeing them because i was worried i was like oh my god i hope people get past <laughs> episode one because they're not particularly nice you know in that they mm. might not really want to but but and i think if they see two and three then we've got them with those characters mm. because they, they're such wonderful characters yeah um the great thing about this album even if you hadn't watched the series it does stand up on its own Oh, thanks for saying that. Do you not think so? Um, yeah, uh, slightly inconsistent, though. Do you think? Sort of, oh, what's this? Oh, where's this coming from? <laughs> it's not like an album that sounds like an album. It kind of comes from all directions. But, you know, I suppose that's OK. Mm. And uh, any any other stuff on the horizon? Are you getting more soundtracks? There, yeah, I'm involved in another soundtrack with something that's coming out on Netflix in Ooh. late later this month. Oh, good. Are you allowed to tell yeah. us about it? Or? I th- I think so. Mm-hmm. It's 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 been on um, T 
T-W-I-T-T-E-R. Ah, right, OK. And it's yes. I'm not OK with this. Uh-huh. I am not OK with this. <laughs> and I think it's premiering on um, Netflix on the 26th of this month. And, and, it's, and, and it is the... The production team of Stranger Things, and it oh, is brilliant. Jonathan Entwistle, who, you know, directed yes. End of the Effing World yeah. as well. Yeah. So it's an amalgam of those two huge beast that's entities fantastic. and me. Well, that's in my diary. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's fun, and there's a lot of there's a that, yeah that's that's ton of fun that is. And was this the first soundtrack that uh, you had done? I know you did one, but I mean, you know, the first um, series that you had done of um, yeah it yeah. was it was um i I'd, I'd done a song for the end of a film called the um i never get it right the riot club uh-huh i always still think of it of its working title <laughs> i have to think <laughs> the riot club and um i did a song for the end of that and um when i was asked i didn't i wasn't set up for that sort of thing at all you no. know i didn't i i thought oh crikey i better get a daw and a interface and 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 sort of learn how to do it mm. you know so so i kind of learned how to do it and, and and i haven't really had anybody tell me any tricks i have to look on youtube a lot you know if i'm to try to do this and that when yeah. i'm recording or whatever but but i think i'm getting the hang of it and and what was great about doing the first series of end of the effing world was it it did get me working every day writing every day eight o'clock in the in morning studio thing. well yeah i mean pretty much yeah, because I, I did this thing with um, with Damon a masterclass, and he says he he religiously works nine to five. Are you like yeah. that? Yeah, I well I am now because, I mean beforehand I could afford or not afford I don't know I, I was you know I wasn't the, I was lazy I would wait for inspiration to strike mm. and I realised that when I'm doing a soundtrack and people are going look I want three things in this sort of vein by the end of the day, that you can't just sit and wait for inspiration to strike that actually. Nine to five, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's kind of what I do. Mm. Nine to five, and um, I've been doing that for two odd years, and you do you do end up with a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just. I mean, if you're writing two or three things, sending them off two or three things the next day over two and a half years, then uh, God knows how many songs that is. But yeah. it, but it, but it's or tunes and things that is. But it helps with your workflow, and it really is like a a muscle. You know, you, it, it it you write songs. And it e- becomes easier to write songs mm. when you're writing songs and you keep keep going and going and going and going. So I owe a lot to um, to uh, well, Matt Biffer was the music supervisor yeah. who 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 invited me on board with End of the Effing World, and I th- I think that helped me a lot in all sorts of ways as a songwriter and a musician and as a recordist person as well. So. Well, you know, I feel really guilty. I mean, crouching into your time, you should have finished. Oh, no, it's a different time, isn't it? I keep forgetting. I'm all right. I've just <laughs> got up. <laughs> into, yeah. Here it's a quarter to seven in the evening. Um, I know, I just did a school <laughs> run, then spilled then the smoothie on myself the and then got in the car. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just yeah. starting. <laughs> well, enjoy your day. Um, oh, well. And now, I can't decide. See, I, I, whenever I keep files and I put stars next to tracks that I really, really like, OK? Mm. Um, um, I'm a bit anal. Um, so, this time tomorrow, or Threw It Away, or Meaner Than The Sea, or Veil. What do you fancy? I like This Time Tomorrow. All right. I'd never done a sort of vocal in that sort of, ooh, yeah. sort of thing. Oh, the yeah. thingy at the end. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what? It's been an absolute pleasure. Enjoy yeah. your time in L.A. Nice and talking to you, And long may you reign. Thanks a lot. You, you too. take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 B